Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stow at Bucharest. And we have a top two clash already. Um, it's been a really, really positive start to the season. Uh, we are unbeaten after the first six games. Uh, we're against the only other unbeaten side, FC Argus, today. The top two in this game. Someone might lose their unbeaten streak here. It could end in a draw, but otherwise, someone O is going to go. If you're enjoying the series, do remember to drop a like on the video and leave comments because they really help the channel and help the algorithm. If you haven't done so already, or if you're new, do subscribe and turn on notifications and let's jump into the video. So last episode, it was a good start to the season. We've got a 3-0 win away against the University of Craiova 2. A hat-trick for Jonas Ispas gave us that 3-0 win, but he then did get injured. Torn groin keeping him out for... Uh, five weeks he should be back in today's game but that did mean that we had to kind of speed up our hunt for some strikers because he was the only one that we really had and thankfully we have we bought three strikers to be precise we now have four that might be a bit overkill but we've got four forwards now and we're starting off with Ibrahim Diara who is Malian but yet is counting as an EU player I'm not going to complain but he's on loan from Petrol Ploiesti he can play as a pressing forward He's got a goal already, which is pretty good. His finishing is 12 mentally. He's pretty good physically, pretty well-rounded. Uh, not particularly quick, but he's not too bad. He was on loan at a Sporting Liesti last season, got five goals in 18 appearances. It's all an all right tally. It's not too bad. Uh, hopefully he can get some goals for us. He already has one, so that's good. We brought in Vlad Sherbanescu, a young 20-year-old right winger. He was a free agent after being released by FCSB. I'm not sure how often he'll play for us. He's just to fill out the youth ranks, really, because um, our youngsters aren't particularly good. We need to do a lot of work on our sort of youth stuff to make sure that we actually get some good players coming through. At the moment, we're not really getting that. The other players we've got, we've got Dalian Bajaziti, who is an Albanian forward can also come in as a right winger yet to get a goal for us but he has joined us from Bessa in Albania on a free transfer he should be a good player for us he could play up front or on the right hand side so you know he can fill in a couple of um, positions his dribbling is pretty good technique's not too bad a little bit of flair fairly pacey lastly we have a Croatian striker Lovret uh, Nezovic I think it is Nezovic uh, 24 and he's joined us from Arda in Bulgaria we've paid 11 and a half thousand pounds for him got a goal for us so far in four starts which isn't too bad uh, good finisher with the ball 14 uh, he's quick um, anticipation of flair aren't too bad so yeah um, a good dribbler of the ball as well again can play out wide or can play up front so things looking much better than they were um, with the striker situation. Uh, Ispas is back for this game. I think he should be fit to play. But now we've got plenty of options up front if things go wrong again. So I think we've got a pretty good team. If there's anywhere else I think we'd need to improve, probably could have done with one more centre-back. I think that's the only thing that we really didn't manage to um, achieve in the transfer window. So then we move on to the games that we played off camera. And after the win against uh, Craiova, uh, we had a 1-0 home win against Vitorol 2. And on his debut, Ibrahim Diara did get a goal. 53 minutes into the game, he made a 1-0 not long after Andronaki had a goal disallowed for Vitorol. Um, it was, um, you know, a good performance by us. They didn't see too much from the away side. They had a goal disallowed. Apart from that, they just had one shot on target. So a deserved win for us there. Just 1-0. But it's three points on the board. I'll take it. Then we won by the same scoreline against uh, Petrol or Pliesti. A 1-0 win away from home here. Bit of a smash and grab one. We only had the one shot on target and we scored with it. And on his debut, Lauren Nezovic scores. So uh, two debutants scoring in back-to-back -back games. That's good. Um, yeah, we didn't have a lot of shots. But um, our XG, you know, we scored from the goal I think we were expected to get. So I will take that. Petrol or... You know, we defend well. They had a good few shots and a few shots on target, but couldn't really create anything massive from them. And we defended really well. So a 1-0 win away from home here. Three wins from three. The perfect start did end, though, as we drew at home to FCSB2. Um, a bit of a more disappointing performance here as we couldn't get the win. It was a 1-1 draw. Maximovic scored on 31 minutes to give us a 1-0 lead. Uh, but um, Alb in the second half scored for FCSB uh, to equalise. I was disappointed to drop points in this one. I thought we were better. Uh, we should have got more than the one goal. Nezovic had a bit of a more disappointing game up front this time around. And uh, Malielli playing in central attacking midfield had a had an all right game, but didn't really play up any trees. So a bit of a disappointing draw, draw this one to uh, drop our first points of the season. Then we took on uh, Crowover. Um, 
I thought it was the senior team, but apparently it's very similar to the Stour FCSB situation in, in the fact that one of them was a refounding of the original club. So very similar story to um, the one that's happening between Stour and FCSB where there's disputes over who owns the honours. So um, yeah, that's quite interesting that that's happening in another club in the same country. That's that's really interesting. But we get a 2-0 win here uh, and they went down to 10 men as well. Vasilescu gets his first goal for us on 62 minutes, the uh, young midfielder. Uh, and then Maximovic scored from the penalty spot on 80 minutes. That was after uh, Kroyeva went down to 10 men. Dushmanu with a straight red card. And then last but not least, it was a goalless draw against Six Jareda. A team that actually are in an area that speak Hungarian in Romania. So uh, Six Jareda actually like full of a lot of Hungarian players and they speak Hungarian. So that's a bit of an interesting one there. Uh, a goalless draw here. Not really much to talk about in this one. It was a, a disappointing match. We had the ball in the net on 41 minutes from uh, Nezovic, but it was disallowed and correctly so. So a bit of a ball draw this one against the uh, relegated side six Reda. So we're unbeaten after six games. A uh, few points dropped. We did draw two games, but yet to suffer defeat as have uh, our opponents Argus today. Um, someone O might go it may end in a draw, but if we win today, we could go top of the table. We already have a suspension after six games, which is a worry, but um, the the rules on cards in this division are a bit harsh. You get your first suspension after four bookings, and then your next ban after three, and then two, and then a match ban for every yellow card after that. They're very, very harsh with the yellow card suspensions in this uh, division, but we need to try and be a bit more careful because Veklenko is already suspended, which is only game seven. So that means that uh, Stupar will come in on the left-hand side today. And we have Rajdan back from his broken ankle. We have everybody back now. And I think Isbas, is he going to be fit to start today? I don't think he is. We'll bring him onto the bench. So plenty of options now throughout the team. I think we'll go back to Pashonel today because Maliele is not training too well. So I think this is what we're going to go with. Um, this is going to be another tough match away from home against uh, the leaders at the moment, also unbeaten. They just missed out on promotion last season, losing uh, in their playoff to Rapid. So we're not pressing as much. We're regrouping when we lose possession. This is kind of the, the tactic we go to when we are kind of underdogs in a game and not essentially expected to get a result. So hopefully this goes okay. We've got a win against Argish, I think, in the first game of last season. So if we could repeat that, that would be good. Okay, off we go. Let's see if we can keep this unbeaten run intact as we have a throw in for Argus about five minutes in. Here's a collage to Dragu and backwards to Suchu and Mondragon. That's a name and a half, isn't it? Good tackle there by a prayer and thankfully no foul either. Can we counter now? Here is Nizovic um, playing out on the left today, is he? That's a good ball for Maximovic. Here's Bajaziti, and he's got his first goal for the club as well. And this is also the first uh, video I'm filming with the winter update. So we now get assists when we get goals. We can see who got the assist, which is always nice. I'd like to know who's getting assists on these uh, goals. You know, sometimes it's quite easy to spot it. Sometimes it's a bit harder to tell. It's nice that it's got that back in the graphics. Yeah, this is the first video I'm filming uh, with the winter update. So, uh, yeah. If you start a new save, now you'll get Makoko in the team, the young sort of 15-year-old from Dortmund. And there's a corner kick, or a free kick rather, for Argus here. And we've made a bit of a mess of that, but somehow managed to clear it. How did we not concede there? Because that was a messy set piece. Not having as much of the possession as we usually do, but we have another free kick here with Wallace, who's going to go for goal, and he forces a save from the goalkeeper, Hankic. Once again, we are doing well away from home. And I, again, I feel like we're underdogs in this game. There may be a break here, though. Eli's got lots of space. And this is essentially 2v2 here. If you can find the striker, this may well be 1-1. He finds him, and it's a good block by a prey, a very good block. And Vasilescu with a clearance. Okay, good defending there, very good defending. Here's Bajaziti, the Albanian, got his first goal for the club. And he looks for, I don't know who was the kid for. Sorry, had to do a sneeze. Better with a free kick, headed away by Ilie. Here's uh, Lee Kalari. I'm not sure what the C with the thing is, but Lee, Lee Kalari. Sounds like a Pokemon. And that was a, a shot or a ball across goal. Not quite sure what that was because there was no player on the end of it. Half time, we've got a goal. We've defended well so far. Been impressed with how we've done there. You know, we cleared that really well. I don't know how we didn't concede from that set piece because that was a mess. But a good first half. Very happy. We're going to try and keep this unbeaten run going. And let's see if we can uh, maybe get another win from this. You know, we've only dropped four points so far. Things are looking very good in terms of, you know, a potential promotion this season. It's a great start. 
and hopefully it lasts. Mondragon with the interception though, and uh, Likolar is not done well. That Apraya has found Nezovic. And can the striker get his second goal for the club? Yes, he can. It is 2-0. And a prayer gets himself an assist, the young left back. And we are flying in this game. Two goals to the good. And it looks like the unbeaten run is going to be staying intact. Lee Kalari got a little bit caught up and he got double teams. Not in that way. Uh, Nezovic with a good run and a nice finish here. Goalkeeper uh, went for it. Didn't get it. Nezovic gets his second goal. And we get our second goal of the night or the day. I'm not sure what time this is being played. Either way, it's a really good performance. 75 minutes in, we are going to make uh, a couple of changes. Stupart, we're going to bring off. Uh, let's go... Let's move Nezovic out wide and let's bring on East Bass for the last 15 minutes. You know, it's his first game back from his injury. Let's see what he can bring. I'm going to take off Maximovic as well. I had a bit of a quieter game today. We're going to bring on Kostaki. 83 minutes gone. Mondragon with a throw in for Argish. Headed away by a prayer. Here's a Vajvari to Bikai and Sherban. Bikai goes long. Mondragon's got lots of space and goes for a cross. It's blocked, which I think he kicked it at the player rather than it being blocked. I don't think he knew anything about it. Here's Nezovic. Still got the ball here. And again, we're doing well with these counter attacks at the moment. Not having as much possession as the, as the opponents, but... Playing really well as Kostaki flies a shot over. Really happy with how we've been doing sort of on the break today. Bajaziti is going to come off. Uh, let's bring on Buzan. Of all time, that was a pretty routine win. I didn't expect that to go as well as it did. You know, I guess had possession. But, you know, those goals that we got came from those counter-attacks. They really, really worked. You know, our XG wasn't as high. But we made it. We made the chances count. Argish. An XG of 1.63 and they draw a blank. So not a good day for them. And they lose their unbeaten run. As I said, someone O was going to go. Or it was going to be a draw. And we keep our unbeaten run intact. Really, really pleased. So that sends us top of the table. 17 points from 7 games. Brilliant stuff. I only dropped 4 so far. And yeah, things off to a flying start. I mean, we've only conceded one goal in those seven games as well. We're defending well. We're scoring goals. Things are going almost too well. I was expecting a much more difficult game from that. And, you know, we didn't concede. We got two goals on the break. Really, really impressed. And let's see how long we can keep this unbeaten run going. I mean, if we can get to the winter break with it, that would be amazing. You know, still got a way to go for that. But it's entirely possible. We've faced some good teams already and we haven't lost yet. All right. So I think we'll go... I think we'll go Concordia next time. So I think we'll do Concordia next time. And I think the way these seasons are going, it's quite easy to just do the last game before the winter break and then do the game when we come back. Because that seems to be the way it always goes. We've got a nice long break again. We've got Poly Team Ashura on December the 10th. And then we don't have a match till February when we face Fokshani. So again, I think we'll do that again. We'll go uh, Concordia. Then we'll do Poly. And then we'll come back after the winter break and do those last three games before the split again. Another five games off camera, including a cup game. Hopefully we'll have a bit of a run in that, because so far the cup hasn't really gone uh, to plan. We faced Dino at Bucharest last season, had ourselves our first eternal derby, and got thrashed 5-1. Season before that, we were expecting a bit of a run, but then we ended up losing to Slobozia, who have uh, now dropped down to the third tier. So yeah, hopefully we can put together a little bit of a cup run this season, because we haven't really done that yet. So I'd like to try and get a little bit further, but that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. And next time, we will be taking on Concordia... I think it's China. It looks like it's like ch it looks like it said China. Chi ch China. I don't know. That's, that sounds like Trump saying China. That, that's not right. I'll work out how to say it because if we're going to be facing it next time, I want to be able to get it right. So uh, we'll face Concordia next time. But that's going to do it for today's video. A good win there against Argus. Really, really pleased. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.